With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A metallic spherical shell of radius r and charge minus q on it. A point charge plus q is placed at the center of the shell. Which of the following graph so below may correctly represent the variation of electric field with distance r from the center of the shell? So if I draw a shell and I am saying that uh, on this shell the charge is minus q and at the center it is plus q. So if you see at a distance of r, if the r is less than the radius, if you see this is the radius r. And if the r is uh, small r is less than this radius. Then if you see here from the Gauss law, right, this is a metallic spherical shell, right? From the Gauss law, the we know that uh, like um, through an enclosed surface, the charge enclosed will be equals to the electric field times. Right? So what we want, we know that inside a metallic sphere, the net electric field should be equal to zero, right? So if I want the net electric field inside the spherical cell to be zero, then the charge enclosed should also be equal to zero. So this minus Q charge will be inside so that the charge enclosed by a surface of radius R will be zero and on the outside surface it will be zero. So basically, when the R will be more than capital R, like let's say this is the point P and this is small r and when it is more than R, the electric field will be zero. What about the R less than R point? For R less than R, if you see here, the charge enclosed will be Q, right? So I will write, since both are parallel, so I will directly multiply charge enclosed is Q and by epsilon. So you got the field as this. It is inversely related with R square for R less than R. So now you can check for the curve at uh, R equals to 0, the field will be approaching toward the infinity. Then after R equals to R, it will be 0. So if you see these two curve, for these two curve, for greater than R, the field is not zero so you can cancel out now if you see the b and c option so let's see the electric field on the surface so on the surface it is not zero here it is said that the electric field at r equals to r is zero but it is not if you see here at r equals to r it, the electric field will be k q by r square and just after crossing this inner surface spontaneously it, it will become zero so there will be dotted line here so c will be the correct option thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today